Well, hello there. This is Rebecca, and I am speaking to you from the last day of the Children's Conference here in Tumaini. Uh, we're sorry to see them go, but everything has to come to an end. Uh, today, we're going to talk to as many kids as we can to see how they enjoyed it. From Mathara Valley, and also Anderson from Mathara Valley, and his nickname is Sport. So, Willis, what did you learn from the conference, and what was your favorite part? I learned that we should not... We should be friends in, in the conference, and I enjoyed playing football. And we were taught memory verse, like Psalms 103.10, it says, He does not punish us when we deserve or repay us according to our sins and wrongs. Thank you. My favorite part is that I learned many things. I, I was, we were told not to be enemies with others and to be kind. And even I learned how people play the football and the, the people who well, that's run. great that's great sport thank you so much I learned many things because uh, I was taught about how to care about others and I was very keen about that for the most favorite part is uh, our teacher Jeff taught us about to walk in faithfulness and to walk in love and also to learn how to give thanks as the Samaritan who was healed from leprosy came back and gave thanks and that was the most interesting part of the of the conference that's excellent Thank you. Okay. Chelsea Chelsea yeah. okay and she came all the way from the Congo for the conference yeah. would you mind asking her what her favorite part of the conference was and what did she learn yeah to know Lisa ni patagani kwa conference ulipenda sana poem yeah, she likes the poem she likes the poem yeah, the poem she, contest yeah. okay compassion uh -huh, yeah okay yeah she said she learned more about compassion in her group and that and where where do you come from i come from joe kayole Okay, and that's near Nairobi, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Would you tell us your favorite part of the conference? My favorite part was dancing and the poems. Great. And what did you learn this week? I, I've learned that God answers the prayers of all, and God is love. I'm sitting here with four very special kids who came a very long way to be at this conference. They're from Maggie's school. And they uh, have traveled a long way, and they are from Turkana. That's where Maggie School is. I want to ask each of you your name. What is your name? Veronica. Veronica. What is your name? Dorcas. Dorcas. And you are Michael? My name is Michael. Michael. And My name is Michael. Okay, very good. Now, I'm, I want to ask Michael what his favorite part of the conference was. Nelson Fido. Fido. Okay, he said his favorite part was the, the video, the lessons, and the music. Thank you, Michael. We have someone all the way from Burundi. What is your name? My name is Shushuk Nakis. And how did you find the conference? The uh, conference is very good, but I like, I like uh, uh, to... To, uh -huh, to me ongea, to me fanya vitu vingi sana. Na vile wame tu, wame tu shirikia sana. Eh. Uh. Okay, she's saying that she loved the way she was able to interact with everyone and she felt very welcome in Kenya. We're so glad and have a safe trip back home. Back home. Thank you. Eh, okay, thank you. Hey, hey! Well, one of the buses is pulling out, uh, so we took this opportunity just to say that uh, the conference came to an end, but it was an incredible success. Nobody wants to leave. You can see that everyone is saying their goodbyes. They've bonded. They've learned so many things. God was clearly present in this place this past week, and it was well worth it. The children are renewed and refreshed and, and lifted up, and we're so thankful that, that this happened.
I'm here this afternoon with Bishop David Tagana, founder of GOA, and we wanted to speak with him and ask him a couple questions about the conference. Uh, Bishop, if you could just tell us a little bit about your vision for this conference and, and if you feel like we achieved those, that your goals. Yes. Uh, when, we, when, when we started the conference, the idea of the conference, our vision was to bring all the children from the homes together and all the children from the churches. Mm -hmm. We wanted to achieve several objectives. One of them, we wanted them to integrate with each other. When uh, children are from the homes and others from the churches that... Uh, church members' families, mm -hmm. sometimes it's difficult to integrate them even when they're in the church. Uh, we, we, we feel that that has been perfectly achieved. I saw them working together, sleeping together, eating together. It has been greatly achieved. The other one, we wanted to promote uh, national unity mm -hmm. because, uh, as you know, our, our country was uh, suffering from the post-election the other day on tribal basis. Mm -hmm. We thought the best place to, do, to start uh, integration is among the children and to promote that unity. We had so many tribes here, and they were working together, practicing together. We feel we have achieved that. We wanted uh, to celebrate the 20 years. And by celebration, we, we felt that uh, children needed to understand where, what GOA is, uh, what GOA has achieved, what their part is in GOA. And, uh, and we feel they have achieved that through, through the lessons, through the poems, through, through the games. We, we feel that has been achieved. So we are very excited. GOA Children Conference is over, and we thank God so much. We have added so well, we have finished well, and we want to take this opportunity to thank all those who sponsored the children to come to this conference. We, we are so grateful, and we thank you for your support. Without you, we would not have made this conference. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for sponsoring the conference. Much more, I want to talk about the history makers. We had a great team of young people who are of 18 years. Today, 76 of them have graduated, and we are so grateful that they are going to cause a great impact uh, to, uh, in the areas where they come from. We want to really thank you, because through your support, we made it. Thank you.